Okay, so what President Robert Mugabe said concerning President Emerson Dambudza Mnangagwa. Zvakataurwa nava Mugabe pamusoro pava Mnangagwa. Mashoko yaka kosha ndava achati batsira kuti zive kuti vakuru vezano vanofunga sei uye why do they do the things that they do? Ko vakuru vezano paya pavanenge vachiti janyirira vachiti rova vachiti dzimira internet vachiti sunga every bad thing that the Zimbabwean government does. Vanhu vasinda zvonere kuti vari kutadza kureswa kwavo vakuru vezano havakuonere. Vano mirira kuudzwa here kuti vaone kuti aiwa apatareswa apatakanganisa apatavhurika apatatarikira havazvioni here vakuru vezano Well fortunately we have this video kana paine munhu wanhu anonyatso understand mafungiro ava munangagwa ndiva mugabe ndava vamugabe vakashanda na vamunangagwa ke makore anosvika tofunga kana 50 years together even president ed attested to this fact hapana munhu muzano pf anonyatso ndwisisa vamunangagwa kudarika vamugabe let's react to this video mashoko vamugabe his last words concerning president munangagwa let's play on you you believe that your removal was what illegal yes uh, my removal was forced i i had to resign in order to save the situation and uh, the people were who, who were advised me were say if you don't resign there is going to be bloodshed there is going to be bloodshed Please. Did and, you and some of them just to give you perspective and also just to make sure kuti test set on the same page interview yakaitika some time after 2017 mushuro mekubviswa kwa vamugabe pachigaro apa vari kutsana ngura nzira yavakabviswa nayo pachigaro you believe that the new president of zimbabwe is in his job illegally yes I believe that. Why are you saying that? Oh, because he wasn't elected. <laughs> Who elected him? He is an imposition of the army, and we are saying, let's. What do you feel, Erich? He wasn't elected. He is an imposition of the army. You believe that the new president of Zimbabwe is in his job illegally? Yes. I believe that. Why are you it, saying that? Oh, because he wasn't elected. <laughs> Who elected him? He is an imposition of the army. And he wasn't elected. He is an imposition of the army. Ndo mashoko ava mugabe. If you've been following my videos kwengo yakati oh you will remember kuti nyaidzi ndakatodzibata kuma video ari kuma shure. Eh hakana watanga ndo follow one has dzokera dzikadzika ne channel chama wona ma video akawanda pandinotsana ngura kupinda kwakaita vamu nangagwa pachigaro. How that he was not elected. He was literally put there by the army and in fact avoided congress mgwerera vakapinda he avoided congress that's how much he feared and didn't trust the structures of zanu pf he had to first calibrate my structures as zanu to his liking before he could do an elective congress mzanu pf he is an imposition of the army we are saying let's get that position corrected What do you think of Mr. Manangagwa? Here is a man who describes you as a father. Yes. What kind of son has he been to you? <laughs> of course, uh, sons will not always uh, be obedient once to to the father. Uh, he is he's got his own views. He has got his own character. And it's a character I perhaps did not quite see and know about him. Uh, that of not forgiving. If a person stepped on his you know, 
screw on his toe. He will go after you. Do you? And Manzo, Hanzi, he has that, this character of not forgiving. If a person steps on his foot or toe, he will go after him. Mashuka, as Mashuka, I am a citizen. I guess that's why he's called the crocodile. Yeah. Nungu yerekana wa ruma. Ukangu yerekana wa makwa ne garwe. Garwe reka kumaka. Tosi ziba muri ngwena. Ino ruma wano ena. Jonathan makamu nye nyena. Akati zira kukenya. Garwe reka ngo kumaka chete. Ukangu zine garwe uyanjamu fariru. Ukangu krosa garwe chete. Anzi na bamu gabi. Garu hari, hari kanga, hari, hari, hari regereri. Ukangu hari tzika tzoka chete paku paku perera. Luzo rukutau gwa na bamu gabi. Ayo, it's important for you to know your president. Ma citizens, hapa nrukunguti muzi vye president vye nyu. Mashoko, aya, hasi angu ma citizens. I think he's betrayed you. In that regard, yes. He has betrayed you. He has betrayed you. And in not wanting to be democratic, he has betrayed the whole nation, our whole nation. We are topsy-turvy. You know, we, we, we used to be pride, not just of Zimbabwe, but of our region, Sadiq. But we are not that anymore. We are a disgrace to we used to be the pride of Sadek, but we are not that anymore. We are a disgrace. Mashuko wa mgaba, wajitzanangura new dispensation, sorry, new new dispensation. Eh? Second Republic. He had no kind words for the Second Republic. He said, we used to be the pride of Southern Africa, but now all of a sudden, ladies and gentlemen, we are a disgrace to the Sadek region. Yes a disgrace to our community, Sadiq, a disgrace to Africa. Why did we do this? Just for the glory of an individual. When I was here in November, mm -hmm. there were large crowds cheering on the streets. They wanted you to go. Yes. Do you accept that, that your departure from office was greeted by many, many millions of Zimbabweans as a good thing. <laughs> uh, but uh, you say the millions, they were not millions. In the ground of Harare, we have a country with about 15 million people. Now, what happened in Harare did not happen elsewhere. These were noises that were well organized. You had the... Uh, um, the opposite. Andrew Wanauti, he had full control of his fac fac faculties. You can clearly tell. Kunivava not ah, Bobo was incapacitated. The man was not incapacitated. Yes, old. Yes, definitely. 100%. Very old. Too old, in fact, to be occupying uh, that position. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. But he was not incapacitated. You can tell. But he has full control of his mental uh, faculties. Even remembers, even knows. But he sends us. Yangairi, how far? Man was totally in charge and in control of his uh, faculties. Definitely not incapacitated, as some of you in that video and Dagaitari area were saying. The opposition took a greater part uh, in, the, in that. Uh, a demonstration. When you watched it, what were you thinking? I, I didn't watch it. I was told about it. Yes, but you don't move on the basis of noises made. It doesn't matter how strong those noises are. It is your party and the party program. Yes, take note of the complaints. Take note of the complaints and bring them to your into your system, into your party. Because you know what people say. Yes. They say that for whatever good that you did in liberating this country, mm. people say that over the course of your rule, this country has been ruined by your leadership. 
What do you say to them? Ah, ruined. Ruined, of course, no. If anything, there is, uh, in comparison to other countries in Africa, there is greater prosperity here. And uh, people have their land. They won't starve in this country, which other countries, in other countries, happens. So there's 90% unemployment, the health service is falling apart, the ed- even the education system. Now, is it's there. only now doing that. Education, we, we are the model here, you see. And, and what, a, what about the human rights abuses that so many people uh, Yes, we have been accused of that. And on that side, yes, they, they, some errors were done. Uh, they continue to be done, human rights. Si avunzo nenya e my human rights abuses political violence the men did not push back akabvuma it took robert mugabe 40 what 40 no 37 years because he was in power for 37 years right i stand to be correct 37 37 years he was in power it took him that long to finally realize that party yake yai commit my human rights abuses that party yake ruavanu party yake dambura mtemo that it claimed to be protecting and following and enforcing took him that long to finally realize it it dawned on him all of a sudden after getting removed from power kuti oh my god so tanga tichita zvina kunaka he finally with his own mouth thank god he did before dying finally with his own mouth concurred agreed accepted that errors were done not only that not only that he said they continue to be done even after him leaving the office which tells you but it wasn't just him he was merely the face of the system he left yes but the system remained intact and that very system just recently stole the election robert mugabe speaks that's a very difficult area i agree we we offended uh, uh, in regard to, the, to to that area is that in terms Quite, of the election in violence? terms no i think it is more in relation to how we handled uh, other people the opposition etc etc the, the violence towards the violence yes you see what people pasun the mega hands in how we handled the opposition the ones the violence got the violence yes so da vunza mvunzo paya kam introduction yangu ndikati vakuru vezanu vanenge vasinga zvizivere vanenge vachiziva vanenge vachiziva ako pane munhu ano rapper asinga zvevata ari ku rapper here naimi kuti wagwa wagwa mvuyere wagwa shumba wagwa mukaire he pane akambo basinga zita ari kuba handi kufamba uchinyawa ira he ikoko kusatoda kubakwa inyaya chete kuti power corrupts power inenge shampopo <laughs> when you drink too much power you get drunk by it now when you are drunk in that state you know you are unstable in all your ways you get what i mean like you can't tell munari completely drunk with the drive you got in muno muno be utswaka eh power you know to you know darker power you see drunk in power drunk in power drunk in power those who need our curve zan they are drunk in power vakamwa eh eh oro re power rekava darker now hapana chiri mavari chino vadzosa you know you see the more you have power the more you want more of it and because you want to keep having more of it and you want to safeguard it you will do anything and everything to maintain that power that means eliminating anything that threatens that power that's why kanavachimo government even though they know what they're, what they're doing is wrong It does not re- nothing in them will make them stop doing that wrong thing because as a starting point it is necessary that they do those wrong things remember kandakataura kuti 
in an autocratic government. Hamuna legitimacy. Legitimacy is the belief by the electorate that those that govern it deserve to be in power. So if they don't believe that you deserve to be in power, it naturally means that you must make them believe that you deserve to be in power. Because there is no loyalty. They are not loyal to you. Loyalty no go when they consent to your rulership, your governorship. When they are consenting, in other words, when they agree. Munwese, munwega, wega, wega. Every citizen is sovereign. But we surrender our sovereignty. But no, you is ex, but no vote up. It's an act of surrendering your personal sovereignty. You are surrendering it in good faith to the rulers, the governors. Hey, who are your representatives in government? You are surrendering it, temp- you know, in good faith. Now, when people don't surrender that sovereignty, in other words, they have not voted you, okay? You put yourself there. That means there is no loyalty. They do not consent to you, to your being in power. That loyalty is not there. So in the absence of that loyalty now, autocratic governments use force to force people to be loyal. To force that loyalty. Loyalty through fear. That's the reason why they can't stop themselves from using intimidation and force, brute force, to force us to be loyal to them. That's the point. What we'll say is that you were in charge for 37 years. For the errors that were made, for the problems that Zimbabwe has now, there can really be only one person to blame, and that is... Robert Mugabe. No, just one person. Now can you say one person? One person was leading a party, and the party had his own program. But we, we aren't that. We weren't. And it was a question ya apresi wap. Hansi ya people say, well, you've been in charge for so long, so surely you are to blame for all of this. And then he says, how can you just blame one person? One person, one person being Yimka. Uh, the late Araji. He says, you can't blame just me. I was just leader of the party and the party had its programs. Which programs? Which programs? Remember, he's already agreed, Kuti. The way we handled the, the opposition was wrong and he even said the violence. So, he clearly, clearly tells us that, ladies and gentlemen, yes, but I was just the leader. A leader of a system, a system which remains in place. Which system? You're going to change that today. Not bad in comparison to other countries. No. Zanu PF said the problem was not with Robert Mugabe, but with Robert Mugabe's wife. That you wanted Grace Mugabe to be the next president. Ah, but that's nonsense. And anyone who becomes president must be a member of the party. She wasn't. And I wapa apam kuruwa nyeba. Bos mkura pavati. Anyone who can who becomes president of the party must be a member of Zanu PF. And Grace Mugabe wasn't. I papa mkura nyeba. May his soul rest in peace. I wapa mkura pavaka nyeba. Mama Grace Mugabe was a member of Zanu PF. In fact, she was not just a card carrying member. She was the leader of the Women's League. I mean, what you can forgive me. Mama Grace Mugabe was a member of You can forgive me. Mama Grace Mugabe was a member of Zanu PF. And Mama Grace Mugabe was a member of Zanu PF. And Mama Grace Mugabe was a member of Zanu PF. She was the leader of the women's league. Remember, Kuti, uh, she took over from, if my memory serves me right, from Opam Chinguri. Yeah, she took over from Pam Chinguri. Remember my days, I had a net and the Gamma Talks. Team Shifukuto, the Team Gamma Talks. Remember, Team Gamma Talks, they had Tunga Mirwa, Namae Mujuru. Team Shifukuto, you Tunga Mirwa, na ED. Right? When I did Masum Tasa is the one who coined the term Gamma Talks. I can tell you, she has a Gamma Talks. Kudi, Kudilane Shifukuto, Gamma Talks. It's in Dopaka Baba, Nyekuti Gamma Talks. Faction Yamae Mujuru, Gamma Talks. So, 
Grace Mugabe, when she became a leader of the Women's League after taking over from Opam Chinguru, then started my interface rallies, aya, you know, going around countrywide, you know, denouncing like the campaign, uh, Grace, uh, uh, sorry, Joyce Mjuru. And then Joyce Mjuraki Bazodi, I just fire you. And that's the same thing again that happened when they fired Emerson Mnangagwa. She went around the country decampaigning him, saying all sorts of things about him. And then he later on got fired. So Mama Grace Mgabe was not just a member, <laughs> she was actually the leader of the Women's League. So it's not true. Apa mkura, apa vaka, vaka, vaka. Out of respect, may so rest in peace. They must also be processed within this party system. And if that, that is said, of course, by, by those who would want to find fault with me. And if, uh, some some the, terrible stories were told about her, uh, your wife that she tried to poison Emerson Mann and Ah, no. But he regretted later. He said, no, it was not our, our dairy uh, products which had poisoned him. He was poisoned on the, on the plane. That's what he said. Do you remember what E.D. Vaka poison? I'm not remember any ice cream here. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Any ice cream? Ice cream? I can't believe it. I even did. A, <laughs> I even did a parody about it when I remixed song. Yeah, yeah, Winky Dim Garden. Yeah, we just saw some of the ice cream. Do you guys remember that parody? Hey, I'm not going to go there. Oh man, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to come here. This 2018, and I'm still there. Tiru tiru ku rova ndima enda tiri kuzombomira tiri kutowedzera ah kutomirechi uko naimi tomirirei zve the food that was given me no ah uh, my wife would, would never do that she's a christian we are post christian you believe that she's an innocent woman and no, you are no. innocent she will she will never 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 please if anything we used to eat, to eat together with Emerson, the food she cooked, you see. They have tried to, uh, you know, tarnish my wife, even to the extent of saying the degree which she got and she got after hard working. I, I, we used to go through her papers and I, I think you can count on me to know what is good, a good paper, and what is a bad paper. Right. And, 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 uh, I, I think I must ask you one final question before I, I, I finish. You're the man who liberated this country. You led it for 37 that, years. Yes. What is it that you regret? What is it that you want to happen for Zimbabwe next? And do you think you could be the president again? No. And the last part, no. I don't want to be the president of the Nanga. Of course. I'm now 94. You see, I perhaps look younger than yourself. But, <laughs> but age wise, uh, no, I'm 94. But uh, no, even then, uh, no, I, I, I have had my, my time. Fine. I would have wanted to support Emerson's, you know, bid, but through the party system. But apa mkuru wa foot ndo pa mwe footi pa nengi wa rukun zingana ni chokwadi. He's saying he would have wanted to support Emerson's bid. How was he going to do that when he fired him? Emerson Mnangagwa was fired. So then, how was he going to support Emerson's bid? You know, how? Emerson makam fire Eka. So, even a Kasugura was with the pass. Now, Emerson put the jamba mnangago after he divatiza. Evatiza in Zimbabwe. So, I mean, how are you going to support his bid? Ah, Pamkura, Pavagan, Zingan, and Nichoqua, this hour. Yeah, I can't go to the rose. I was playing to the gallery, but mm -mm, no. And the system that 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 we have, the party, 
to resist you as a candidate, then as a candidate, you must be voted for by, by the people. So you must go through the election process, which he hasn't done at all. And, uh, you know, after working for so many years with him, I didn't think he would be a ma the man to reject the election process. A lot of just to give you perspective and to emphasize the point, you you just see kuti mukuru aramba jungo emphasize nyaya kuti he hasn't gone through an electoral process. You see, again, I have made tons and tons of videos concerning this issue of how President Ed got into power. As a starting point, he is an imposition of the army. I am aware that I'm gabe mbune pachezao. Imposition of the army. He was put there by the army. After being put there, he avoided Congress. At least an, ele an elective one, right? Congress, yaka it was soon after the coup, was not an elective Congress. It divangu trungu in the Congress, but it's not an elective one. Dubawati, my central committee members may say, never Politburo members, yeah, whatever position ya would yo, garai momu, right? So he avoided, clearly he avoided an elective Congress. And that's what President Mugabe, you were saying, kuti, ah. I can't understand. Kuti, after working with me for so long, how can you go down this path? Huh? But then, and then you know, you can then get to think, ha! When you really think of it, Kuti was a shika. Eh, Pastor, you Kuti was a president. Vam nangago, Kuti was a pinam president, yami zanu PF. Awena upinemo mo through an elective process. Right? Mna 2014, if, if my memory serves me right, pakafo yu vam juru, my Mujuru, my Mujuru, kwete vam Mujuru, Solomon, ah, pakafai wa my Mujuru, na 2014, vam nangago vaka appointwa. He, vaka itwa zekuiswa, vaka appointwa na vam gabe, he was not elected, remember? Na 2014, constitution ye zanu PF, yaka amendwa. Before that, ma vice president ye zanu, ha itwa zeku electwa. Not appointment, ah, ah, ha itwa zeku electwa, nema provinces, 10 provinces of zanu PF. Right? But when they fired Joyce Mujuru, they amended the constitution in 2014. And by the way, that amendment was actually done by the Politburo, which is actually illegal. Because according to the constitution of ZANU PF, the Politburo does not have power to amend the constitution. There are only two bodies that can amend constitution in ZANU Congress, which is the highest decision making board in ZANU PF. Number two, Central Committee, which is the highest decision making board outside Congress. Right? So, can I must not call for an extraordinary Congress? Can I go a Congress? The only other body that can amend Constitution is Central Committee, not Politburo. But they did so. Politburo can amend the Constitution, and then they got rid of the need for vice presidents to be elected. Number one, could I a VP? I can appoint one. Number two, could I a president? I can go is one. The army, not electoral process. After is one, the army, he suspends an elective Congress of ZANU PF. <laughs>